these pieces will actually slide into the back of that and then catch. One, you have the right tool. A good pry tool will end up working and work towards the front of the slide itself. Make sure you lock it in place or you'll be going back and forth with the slide. Not cool in the shop, not cool. Wow. Hey friends, welcome back to the shop. If this is your first time here, I'm Art. I'm Dana. And today we are going to take care of a rather easy and should be quick install of the Toyota OEM 4Runner rear slide. Uh, this is one for the 5th gen. I do not know if they fit prior generations, but this is in our 2012. And quite frankly, there are just no real good instructions on there on how to actually install or uninstall it. So while we're making a lot of changes to the 4Runner right now, we figured this would be a good time to go ahead and put together this instruction in the event that you are looking to purchase from the dealer or private sale. So hopefully this helps you out. So let's get this thing started. Woohoo! <laughs> Now, if you do not have this carpet kit already in the back of your 4Runner, this will come along with the slide. And it is pretty self-explanatory on how to put this in, but we'll go ahead and show you exactly what you need to take out in order to put it in its place. All right, so we need to take off this rear plastic cover and you're going to pull away on the weather seal. These are all held in by plastic tabs and it is separated here on each side. So you'll pull up a little bit of force, work your way down, pull up each tab until it's free. There are your five tabs that are going to go into the body. Now on your carpet kit, you have rounded edges on each side that actually slide down underneath your plastic side covers. We'll get the slid in on both sides first. And then here, you're going to see the wire loom holder that has these extra clips up top. These pieces will actually slide into the back of that and then catch. That will retain the carpet in place and keep it from sliding around. All right, first step is done. Next piece is your sliding frame. This will go right into your expected locations. Now you have these metal pins on the end that will actually go right into the hole. All right, you have these 14 millimeter bolts that actually go down into the OEM mounting locations. So we'll go ahead and get those started on both sides. All set there. Now with that done, now we can go ahead and put our trim piece back in. You know, make sure that you line your holes up so you don't break any of these ornery tabs. And put our weather seal back. Once we have the frame in place on this end, we'll go ahead and work on putting the slide on the tracks. Now, depending on where your tracks are, 
when you're actually putting them in. If they're locked up towards the front end of the vehicle, the best thing to do is actually move it this way to where you can rest it on and then screw everything in place compared to climbing through the vehicle and doing it. In order to move these, you'll have this little hinge on the spring. You'll just move it to the left on this side, slide it on back to you, lock it in place on this one. You'll move it over to the right side towards the inside of the vehicle, slide it on back and lock it in place. Make sure you lock it in place or you'll be going back and forth with the slide. Not cool in the shop. Not cool. Round. <laughs> now, all right, if these are already mounted, your covers over the mounting plate, then you'll see we have four different straight pins, and then you have two hooks that actually go into the mounting plate. On right here so in order to pull this up you want to make sure for one you have the right tool a good pry tool will end up working and work towards the front of the slide itself in order to release those pins once you have one end done then you can slowly pull up with a little bit of force and then slide this portion out. If you pull up, you'll end up breaking those tabs off. So make sure you don't do that. Okay, now, I'm gonna remove this away here in order to be able to show. You have a total of four bolts per side. Three of those are gonna be the same. The other one is a little bit longer and it should have some paint or a Loctite on there. Those will all go in these holes that are all marked with either a blue, which matches the one bolt with the blue paint, or purple paint, showing you where those mounting parts are. Now we'll slide this in place, and it should. Once you're where you're supposed to be, it should slide right in with the metal pins. Now we'll start with the longest of the bolts. It goes right into this location on each side. Now this one is going to be a 12 millimeter bolt. Now we'll go ahead and put in our other matching three. Now that's in place. Now we can go ahead and put our covers back in. Okay, next final two pieces that will require us to crawl inside the vehicle. All right, so the other mounting point on the front end of the frame will go directly into the body itself. Once again, same as the other end, it's a 14 millimeter bolt. Right now you have two brackets that will be used for the front compartment. Now these are actually labeled. If you can see, there's a 1L 
and an arrow that is pointing that will be pointing towards the front of the vehicle. Left is going to be driver's side. You have two mounting points into the vehicle as well. And this will go right there. All right, these bolts are 10 millimeter. I'll get these started in. Same for the other side. Right hand side. Okay, now what's left is actually take our storage compartment right here. We're gonna put this in place. You have these bolts that are actually washered in, so they should not come out unless that's broken. These will go right into there. And, well, and of course, as I say that, the washer comes off of that bolt. You jinxed it. I know, oh, always that way with me. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can line this up this time. Then make sure that you close the bolt cover so that is protected. All right, your cover for the compartment. You have two little hooks that go right into these spots. Securing that down. Test the slide. Voila! And done. Of course, to remove this, it's just reversing everything. <laughs> knock, knock. Interrupting Cal. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, there you have it. Quick and easy project. Not a lot of effort to put in if you are getting ready to purchase this or you already have it. So hopefully this helps you out. So that's it for this week. Thanks again for stopping by the channel. We certainly appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> for just 500 bucks, you can have one of these yourself. <laughs> You're gonna live? <laughs> I think I'm gonna live. <laughs>